But let me bring in Kristen Welker here at the White House. So, Kristen, just moments ago, the president announcing plans to shut down uh, the border with Canada. We are expected, we should tell our viewers, we are expecting to hear from the prime minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, uh, in a little bit, probably within this hour. We'll certainly bring that to you live when that happens. But what have you learned, uh, Kristen, about the, uh, the reasoning behind this? What exactly does it entail? Well, we also want to point out we're going to hear from President Trump as well a little bit later on today, potentially at that 1130 task force briefing, Eamon. Here is the quote by President Trump. We will be, by mutual consent, temporarily closing our northern border with Canada to non-essential traffic. Trade will not be affected. Details to follow. That is part of the key section there, Eamon, that trade will not be impacted because, of course, that is something that could rattle the markets and rattle the business world even even more. We know that the administration is poised to likely shut down parts of the southern border as well to really try to stop uh, the amount and limit the amount of people who may be coming into the country who are impacted and affected by the coronavirus. Now, other actions that the administration is looking at, as Leanne just mapped out, they are pushing for this robust stimulus package. They're also trying to get more supplies and more equipment to hospitals all across the country. The president saying that He's deploying the Army Corps of Engineers to set up these sort of makeshift units outside of hospitals to help with the flow of traffic. So far, though, no indication that they've gotten the official word to begin doing that. So that will be a key focus today as well. How quickly is that going to take place? We know that in addition to that stimulus package, uh, the administration looking at helping folks with mortgage and other types of financial issues that they might be having. Now, one thing that we have noted, there's really been a range of different responses from state to state. You have New York talking Talking about a potential shelter in place, but you have places like Florida where people are packed on the beach. I asked Mark Short about that earlier today. Take a listen to what he had to say. In places perhaps that are more authoritarian, there's going to be stronger guidelines. In a free society, I think you require the cooperation of state and local governments, and uh, and that's the federalist approach. Is that they 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 should have you give them the best information, they have to give guidelines to to their communities. But, but should um, people be out on board? Right you know, I, it's a fair question. I think it's a question that our doctors you know should help answer because I've heard different you know opinions that uh, that you know you were trying to avoid people going in, in crowded spaces. Yet at the same time, it's not bad to be out in the fresh air. And that will be a key question, Eamon. Should there be stiffer federal guidelines? Those are among the questions that we'll look to get answered today when we hear from the president, Eamon. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.